Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Kristen here from the MGL Library. Um, today we're going to be drawing just a little Snoopy as a snowman um, as part of our holiday event. So to make this cute little drawing, which is pretty easy, you're just going to need a piece of paper. If you don't have paper, you can actually just use like a piece of cardboard, anything that is flat that you can draw on, and a Sharpie or marker or pencil, really whatever you got is great. So we're going to have our paper going up and down, what we call portrait style. And towards the top, we're going to do a very gentle curve, whoop, little line up, little line up, and another gentle curve. This is going to be the top of his hat. Now from here, we're going to do the little other gentle curve. I like to make it a little wobbly so you know that it's cloth that's just kind of wobbling around. And I'm draw most of a circle. That's a little pom-pom on the top of Snoopy's hat. You can go ahead and draw little lines for the texture on the rim of the hat and then we're going to drop down do a little swirl. It's going to be like a U for his ear. So right here at the edge of the hat I'm going to go down and curve up and the inside of his ear is black. Now Charles Schultz does a great job that's the um, artist who designed Snoopy and the Peanuts. He does a great job of keeping it loose. So when we color it in, we're just going to leave a little bit of white. And don't worry about being perfect because no artist is perfect. And if you are a human, you're not a perfect person either. All right, from here, we're going to draw the big curve for his nose and then curve up for a smile. So you can do a ghost line or what I call a ghost line, which is just taking your finger, curving around and up. So you got an idea in your brain how it's going to go. And I'm going to do a curve out. Oh, we're going to, he's smiling. And I'm just going to do a little arm for the bottom of his chinny chin chin here. That's where the scarf's going to go. So right here, maybe halfway down, close to the edge, I'm going to draw a little sideways oval. Color most of it in, leaving a tiny bit for a highlight. And Snoopy's eyes are really small. Um, they're just two little ones that are very close together, two little ovals close together, going up like that. And you already got a cute little Snoopy already. Now for his scarf, I'm just going to draw a little line going down and out, curve around that to his ear, and back up. So he's got a cute scarf. I'm going to go ahead and drop down two lines, burp, burp. and this one... I don't know if y'all can see my original. This one is pretty flat, but I'm gonna give him a little bit of fuzzy texture, which are just a bunch of lines going the same direction. Just to make it look a little different than my first one. Do another drop down line, a little more fuzzy fuzz to make his scarf interesting. And now we're gonna have his little hands popping out of the uh, little body of the snowman. So on this side, I'm draw one, two slight diagonals for hand number one, and his fingers are just bubbles. So bubble, 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 and bubble. Pretty easy, right? Um, over here, I'm gonna draw a big curve for his huge snowman body. Do a curve on the other side. Ah! Oh wow, this one's wonky. But you know what, that's okay. You don't have to be perfect, and I'm certainly not either. So we're gonna draw three, either circles or ovals or wonky shapes for the little bits of coal. Those are supposed to be the buttons of a snowman. Go ahead and color in just a tiny bit of the black, just like Charles Schultz would do. Yeah, and if you want, you can do little texture marks on the side. This kind of shows that um, this is actually supposed to be a sphere, not just a circle. And right over here, we're going to draw another little hand po popping out. One, two, just like this one, we're going to do four bubbles. One, two, three, and four. And ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for our Snoopy. You can obviously add in whatever you want. If you want to do little stripes on the scarf, you can color it, you can paint it. Um, definitely, as an artist, you always want to sign your artwork. And there you go. You should be very proud of your Snoopy. 
stay tuned for our salt dough decoration video and our cute tree drawing video if y'all want to do more art with me. All right. Thank you guys. Y'all have a good day.